Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's Drew Tube. You already know I'm back at you again with another video. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. Salute to Drew Nation. And what up, Galactic Family? Let's get right into it, all right? Everybody, press that like button, press that share button, and don't forget to subscribe because you know this content is all the way live. Let's get right into it, shall we? You are more powerful than any circumstance, situation, or conditions you will ever find yourself in. Let's discuss this thing. You are more powerful than any circumstance or any situation. All you have to do is take responsibility and take accountability for your life and for your actions. And how you do that is by taking accountability for how you use your mind. What do you think when you have a circumstance, a situation, or a condition that you find yourself in? Do you find yourself in those situations really? Or do you find yourself in your mind? I would say both. Yes, you find yourself in those situations. But in order to get out of those situations, you're going to have to find yourself in your mind more than you find yourself in that situation. Because the situation is happening to you physically, but it, it is also affecting you mentally, which is also having an effect on the physical as well. That may even be why you are experiencing what you are, the, the current situation, condition, or circumstance. Your mind plays a huge part into how you live your life and your, the desired reality that we all live in. So when you know that you're more powerful than that circumstance, you don't downward spiral. You don't let the negativity take control of your life. People will get into a, a, a circumstance or a situation and they'll think it's all over for them. They'll think that there's no light at the end of the tunnel. That yo, the situation and the problem be so bad sometimes, God go right out the window. Hey, God be gone. He be like, oh, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. You ain't focused on me. I got to go help others. I'll be back when you need me. When you realize that God is with you through any situation or any circumstance, you're going to understand that you're more powerful than it. And God is with your thoughts of good. God is with your good thoughts. So when you remember that you're more powerful, God is with that thought. When you remember that you can overcome this circumstance or that situation or that condition, God is with that thought. How you overcome those situations is in your mind. All right, whether you are dealing with a, a circumstance or a situation, your mind will help you get out of it. You have to see and believe that you can get out of this. A lot, like I said, people will get into something and think that it's over. Think that they're never going to come out of this. Think that they're dead. They're never going to come out alive. How can their situation turn into something better? How, how, can, how can they come out on top? If you tell yourself you're going to come out on top, regardless of what you're going through, you're going to come out on top. And that's how, that's how you, you shift into another reality. That's how you change that reality. If you feel like you're about to lose things, if you feel like things are coming to an end for you, you have to start thinking something different. Even when things are going bad, you know, when, when thou art cast down, there is lifting up. When you're in hell, you got to call heaven down. All right. When, when things look that bad, you know you're in trouble. When, when a situation comes into your life or someone tells you something or something happens and it makes you depressed, you know you're in trouble. It makes you feel like your world is coming to an end. You know you're in trouble, but you're in trouble in a, in a good way, not a bad way. You're in trouble to where you need to start working on your mind or things are only going to get worse. I don't understand why when things would get bad for me, and I'm pretty sure you can relate and resonate with this. I don't understand why when things got bad for me, I would envision them getting worse. It's like, yo, you're going to lose this. You're going to fail. You're not going to win. And it's like, we just accept these ideas. And it's like, okay, somebody told me something negative. I was, ju I just received some bad news. And now you accept it. That's yo, God is going straight out of the window. I'll be back when you need me. I'll be back when you get your thoughts 
back right. As soon as you start thinking right, I'm like a ge- guy's like a genie. He will appear and back in your life, but not until you get your thoughts back right. Not until you get your mind right. Not until you start thinking something different. So you can be something different, feel something different, and have something different. All right? You're more powerful than any circumstance or situation. They told you, you just got eviction notice. You just got fired today. You, you, got your, you got your rent. You got your car payment. You got your light bill, water bill. Do you believe in a God that will provide? Or do you believe in situations and circumstances? Your mind is a magnet for the good that you desire. Even when things are going wrong. If you continue, if, if, when things are going wrong, if you change how you feel, things will go back right. God will make a way for things to go back right. All right. And it, it really is according to your belief. So be it unto you. If you sit there and think there's nothing you can do, there's going to be nothing for you to be able to do. But if you see a way out for yourself, if you think that I'm more powerful than this situation, I am God to my circumstances. I am God to to my situations. I am God to my conditions. We're going to hit them conditions in a minute. But once you feel that you're more powerful than the situation, you actually become more powerful than the situation. The situation loses all its power. It only has as much power as you're willing to give it. Somebody told you you were going to have some bad experiences. Are you going to believe what they say? Are you going to keep your faith in the Lord? Are you going to keep your faith in the laws of mind? Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Are you going to keep your your mind with your thoughts of good? Because your thoughts of good is where God is at. Your thoughts of disbelief and negativity, that's going to put you in hell. You're going to be right there with the devil, cursing him out, mad at him. When you put, when you brought you brought yourself there, you begin mad at the devil, but you're the one who 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 thought up that situation. Just because somebody told you something, it was so negative, you let go of your belief. You 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 let your faith in God be destroyed. Can't blame the devil for that. You have to take what? Responsibility and accountability. And that's how you be, that's how you stay more powerful than the circumstance and the situation and the condition by taking control of your mind and realizing that whatever's happening around you doesn't have the power to affect you inwardly. Only only that which power that you give it. So what they just said this. So what they got put an eviction notice up. So what you still got car payments and they just fired you. So what? what? What kind of God do you believe in? Do you believe in a God that creates miracles? Or do you believe in, in a, a world where just because a, a man or a person tells you or a woman tells you that things aren't going to go right, you're screwed. Because you can, you can live in that reality all you want. You have the choice. The devil going to leave the door or I'll leave the door open. I'm going to leave the door open. I'm going to leave the door open. I tried. I tried. I really did try. If I had some water and if I actually had practiced that in the shower a couple days before, I could have hit that. Let me stop fooling y'all. But yo, look. I'm going to leave the door open. So you gotta find out what notes you get. I'm out, yeah. I can hit that falsetto and a falsetto. I can hit that. I can hit them. I can hit them high notes. I gotta keep that in mind. I've been practicing on them high notes. But look, the devil gonna leave the door open. He gonna be like, "You rang." He gonna be like, "Good evening." The devil gonna leave the door open for you. He gonna leave the hot seat ready for you to sit in it. The hot seat. You gonna be sitting in the hot seat. Because you claimed it. You claimed that. You claimed your spot in hell. And don't be mad at the devil when you claim your spot in hell. Things are going, things aren't gonna work out for me. It's all over. You just you just you just walk right in. Satan like doing the bird man hand rub. If I had a third arm, I'd do it, but I'm holding my phone right now. Satan loves when you just give up and just welcomely place yourself in in his presence in hell. That's why you gotta defeat those inner devils. 
those inner devils, those I can'ts, those it's not going to work out because of what he said or what she said or what they say. You want to live your life according to what they say? I know that. See, here's the thing. We get so thrown off with our faith because we need a place to stay. Yes, we need a place to stay. That's a very serious matter. You need a job. That's very serious. All right. On certain aspects, you don't. That's a whole nother video. But you need finances. You need a way to provide for yourself. You need a way to support yourself. You need transportation. You need clothes, food, shelter, all those things. But are you going to put yourself in hell or are you going to put yourself in that green pasture that God made you to lie down in? Because we're like the birds. How are we any different from the birds? God provides for everybody out in nature, all his animals, all his creaturelings. All right, God provides for them. God will provide for you. You can't, you have to stop letting the serpent come into your life and take you out the Garden of Eden. Look at what you don't have. Look at what you lack. Look at this, look, this lady just told you all hell's going to break loose. Believe her, the negative thoughts in you aren't as strong as your thoughts of good, your thoughts of God. All right. Your thoughts of God are, I can get through this. That's how you break through. Your thoughts of God are, this situation doesn't have any more power over me than I give it. That's your thought of God right there. Doesn't that make you feel good? This situation doesn't have any more power over me than what I give it. That's a powerful, positive affirmation right there. I could feel that one. I feel my strength. I feel strong when I say that. I feel my faith. My I feel my faith having muscles when I say that. My faith got muscles. Don't yo. Don't be afraid to yo. Don't be afraid to flex your faith. All right. If you want to, if you want to flex, flex some faith. All in the devil's face. Flex that faith on that on on that devilish hater. All right. Flex flex that faith on the devil hater in you. That part of you that needs to be reconditioned, that part of you that needs to be broken down because it's trying to pull you back down. Those devils in you are conscious thoughts. They're thoughts that you heard, that you accepted, and that you believed. We're broke. We're poor. Money doesn't grow on trees. You took those and ran with them. All right, yo, you need to take them and run them off. Instead of running with them, run them off. All right, don't run with negative thoughts. Run them off. Get them out of here. Get them negative thoughts out of here. They're not going to help you. You have to remember you are more powerful than those situations and those, those uh, circumstances. They have no power over your life except for what you give them. And it's the same thing with conditions. And we're going to touch on that in a minute. But first, you have to remember that God is always there for you. Doesn't matter what they tell you at the at, at the healthcare office. Doesn't matter what they tell you in 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 the food, at the uh, uh what do they call it at the um what do they call it where you get your food stamps or where you pay your bills or what your card note or your eviction notice. It doesn't matter what they tell you. All right, it doesn't matter how things are. All that matters is how you are. If you go wrong with things when they go wrong, you're welcoming yourself into hell. If you stay focused on God when things go wrong, you are protecting yourself and you're, you're staying in heaven. You're staying in the heavenly realms in your mind, which attract you to great and better things because you're a vibrational match for it. Whatever you are a vibrational match for, that's what you're going to get. If you let these ladies and these dudes and these people and all these high places with these titles and these businesses and these offices, if you let them fool you, into thinking that you need to base your faith according to what they say instead of basing your faith according to appearances, calling forth those things as though they were. You crazy. You can't believe, go believe in other people and then be mad and upset at God. People be mad at God and the devil. All right. The, the devil already doing enough bad already. He like, hey, I just proposed it. I just proposed the thought. You didn't have to accept it. I just use these people to test you just like just like the devil tested Job. How do you know that these things aren't tests? You're a believer, aren't you? You believe in God, don't you? You have faith, correct? All life is a test. Life is one big test. 
And if you believe in God, your faith is definitely going to be tested. Yes, people who don't believe in God are walking around here all willy nilly doing good things, doing great things, having what they want, being what they want, doing what they want. All right. The wicked are allowed to walk on the left and on the right. The, the wicked, are, the wicked have free reign. Yes, they get exalted. The wicked do get exalted. Yes, they do. But guess what? When you have faith, God exalts you. When you have faith, God puts you first because you're putting him first. So you have to remember that you're more powerful than circumstances and situations and especially conditions. People want to believe what the doctors tell them. People want to believe certain things about their health because of what their family tells them. You know, we have this disease. You know, we have this issue. Why would you accept that? I don't accept that for myself. People have told me we got all these things that run in the family. I don't accept that. If those things run in the family, I'm running them off. You, t you telling me health, diabetes, all these things run in the family. I'm running them off. Telling me uh, all this, this disease, that disease, this problem, that problem. I'm, it, it runs in the family. I'm running it. I'm running it off. I'm running up some health. Yo, I'm, yo, when it comes to health, I'm running it up. When it comes to ne negative ideas about health, I'm running them off. Don't believe everything that you hear and everything that you're told. Don't accept these things. Do you know how this is why you have to have faith? You have to have a mind of faith, a mind that believes that's heaven. Don't uh, don't accept hell. You want to accept heaven, not hell. You know how many people that have healed themselves of cancer, of diseases, of tumors, didn't even have to go get operated on because they had faith. They believed in themselves. They didn't accept what some doctor told them. They went to go get help. They went to go figure out what, what was wrong with them, but they didn't accept it. Even when, even if you have cancer, even if you got a tumor, even if you got bad health, don't accept it. Don't accept it. Accept good health. Accept the idea that you're healthy. Accept the idea that you have angels that are around you that want to heal you. Accept the idea that God wants you to be healthy. Accept the idea that your mind is God's mind. Your heart is God's heart. Your body is God's perfect body. God moves in you, through you, and as you. That cancer has to leave. That disease has to leave. That high blood pressure has to leave. That diabetes has to leave. Them swollen ankles got to leave. Those clogged arteries got to leave. Them heart palpitations got to leave. That asthma has to leave. Those tremors have to leave. That Alzheimer's has to leave. Don't accept that. Doesn't matter if auntie got it. Grandma got it. Grandma just didn't have anybody like you around to help her recondition her mind. People get defeated because they let things defeat them. Oh, Drew, what are you talking about? It was so bad. You have to accept a new idea. You find somebody that is, is having some type of, of disease take over them. It, 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 it took over the idea of that disease took over their mind. They didn't see a way out for themselves. They accepted what they were told. You got this. I got that. Okay, lay down and die. Don't lay down and die. You got to believe in yourself and think something different so you can have something different, even when it comes to health. It's not just all about money. Money is wonderful stuff, and it makes you feel good. It helps you praise God better, helps you love your brothers and sisters more because you're not broke, agitated, frustrated, angry, lacking. But just remember, you're more powerful than any situation or any circumstance you find yourself in, especially conditions. People will accept negative conditions, but won't accept a positive solution. Don't be so focused on your problem that you can't even focus on the answer. The answer is in you. The answer is God's spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit in you wants to deliver you the answer to your problems. But when you're so focused on the negative situation, the negative circumstance, that negative health condition, that negative mental condition, you ain't going to get it because the, the, the negativity is, is too in the way. You got to get the negative thoughts out the way so your thoughts of good, your thoughts of God can come to you. And that way you can have health. That way you can have a healthy mind. 
There's no condition that can't be reversed. There's, there's nothing that can't be fixed. If you believe that you can heal yourself, if you believe that God wants to heal you, God wants to make you better, your mind will use the universal properties to heal yourself. God's ways are past finding out. It's nothing that God can't do, right? You have to have faith. You have to believe in yourself. You have to accept the idea that things can change for you. I don't know who this video is for, but I know it's for somebody. Hit that share button. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. You have to remember. This is something you constantly have to work on. You can't just say it once and expect health to be there. This is something that you have to constantly affirm. Even if it's an emergency affirmation, even if it's an emergency prayer, your feeling is going to be that much stronger. Your faith is going to be that much stronger. It's going to be intensified. God's ways are past finding out. If you believe and you show God that you believe in him, it's nothing he won't do for you. If you believe and you show God that, that you realize that he'll help you, he'll heal you, he'll bless you, there's nothing he can do for you. Nothing he won't do for you. Nothing he can't do for you. So what you have to do is you have to see those situations turning out better. You have to see yourself coming out on top of that situation. You got to see that circumstance coming out better. You got to see yourself being king of your circumstances. You got to see yourself being God to your circumstances. All right. And in the, in the Bible, when, um, the, when, um, when the Jews and the Hebrews were uh, imprisoned by Pharaoh, Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he wouldn't let them go. Your good thoughts are the Hebrews. Your bad thoughts, your thief, that's Pharaoh. You have to take your thoughts of belief and you have to let them go. All right, Pharaoh has a hardened heart. It's, it's some parts in you that have a hardened heart. There's some parts in you that don't want to let go of those negative beliefs. And you got to, you got to let go of those negative beliefs because those negative beliefs are keeping you from being healthy. They're blocking the health energy, the health frequency, the health feeling, which is going to cause a health healing in you. You can heal yourself. You just have to accept the idea and the universal properties, the laws of mind, all right, universal energy will bring that healing to you. It will, it will bring a healing energy throughout your body to where things will start to fix. Things will, things will start to fix themselves. Things will start to get better. You can heal yourself of whatever you want. Your mind has to be more powerful than the situation. Your mind has to be more powerful than the devil. People tell you that bad things happen and you just accept it. As easily as you accept something negative happen and something bad happening, why don't you accept something good happening? It's just a shift. You shift your mind by shifting your thoughts, which shifts your reality. It's that simple. You just have to keep working on your mind. It's a mental thing. If they can't stop this, they can't stop anything. If they can't stop this, they can't stop nothing. So what you have to do is realize that with God, anything is possible. With your thoughts of good, anything is possible. With the right state of mind, anything is possible. Your right state of mind, that's God. Those negative thoughts trying to pull you back down and make you believe that you're going to die, make you believe that you're going to lose, make you believe that you're broke, you're poor, you're not going to become anything, you're not going to get out of this situation. And when I say death, I mean not overcoming things, all right? Sometimes it's just some people's time and it's just it's just their time to go. Sometimes the universe they got a everybody's got a contract with God in the universe. Sometimes it's just your time to go. But you, even in the next life you'll move on to better things and even in the next life you'll still have your same consciousness. Energy is not created nor destroyed. You got to work on your mind now because if even when you go into the afterlife, you're still going to have the same consciousness. You're still going to have the same mind. Energy is not created nor destroyed. All right. So that's what you, yo, you take where, wherever you go, there you are. You still want, even in death, even in the afterlife, when you transition, you're going to take yourself with you. So you might as well work on yourself now. All right. Might as well work on yourself now. So remember, 
you are more powerful than any circumstance, situation, or condition. Your faith has muscles. Flex your faith muscles. All right, flex on your faith. Flex on the devil with faith. Flex on your negative thinking. Flex on your inner devils. Flex on anything that's not positive, anything that's not life, anything that's not progress, anything that's not health or healing or going to make you feel better. Flex on it with your faith. I guarantee you, you'll overcome that circumstance, that situation, or that condition. No matter who said what, doctor, office lady, uh, manager, boss, uh, 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 person that's renting you the property, whoever, the bank, person at the bank, it doesn't matter. All right. You can overcome all of that. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And now you know how to overcome all of that. So press that like button, press that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. It's been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We out. Peace, love, light, health, wealth, success, and prosperity. We out here.